All right, welcome back to the Case Locked MR2. So today, as you can see, I already have the hard top on the car, as well as the dashboard has been removed, as well as the carpet. So all that leaves next is to start on the roll cage. So let's get right into it. All right, now that we're in here, the first thing we need to do is start taking a lot of measurements. Here's just a quick sketch of the parameters and measurements I just took of the inside of the vehicle. So now that we have this, we can bring out the bender. All right, so moving right along, we're ready for our first bend. So for this roll cage, once again, I'm using my affordable bender and some inch and a half DOM tubing. Now I've already had this thing set up for my first bend, so we're just gonna start right into it. So another trick I found with this affordable bender is I've installed a laser level just on top of the machine, which follows the die right down the center, which gives me the center mark of this tube. What this helps me with is clocking the tube. Now, if this is off, you can see how it completely changes the bend. It will not be on the same plane, it's just that it will not lay flat on the ground. So as an assistance tool, you use this laser level to find the dead center of the whole pipe so it stays in line with each bend. All right, now that we have everything lined up once again with the laser level in place, we can start bend number two. And here it is, all bent to the specifications we needed. So now we're going to get inside the car for our first test fit. Okay, so I got this thing tack welded in the car. You can see how it follows the contour up, gets out of the way of the mounting bracket for that. There is actually some space in there and just a small amount of space around and down. So now that we have that where I want it, get that roof off and we're going to work on our down bars to those rear frame rails. Down bar number one in over there. And we're going to tack weld in down bar number two. And then we can start fitting the firewall around these two down bars. So I put the old template back in there. This way I was able to find the through points where those are gonna pop through my original firewall. So at this point I can take this template back out, scribe that back over to my firewall, and we'll draw out the holes and reassemble. Transferred over both holes to the firewall, cut them out. Fully installed and welded in the firewall, now I can reinstall the back portion of the cage. So now that everything's all in here, I can't get too excited and start welding because I need to put the harness bar in between the two uprights before I weld it in so I can get full weld all the way around it. So we're gonna take this out and weld in the harness bar. All right, everything in the back half is now back in, is tacked up. Have on a pedestal box, just tack welded in there for now. And the same on the driver's side. So now I can get this roof off and work on the full welding. All right, so I managed to get the entire back half all welded together, as well as seam sealed. Now we can move forward and work on our halo bar. And to do that, we're gonna use our new tube bender. Let me show you that now. So here it is. If you're not already familiar with it, this is my new JD Squared Model 32 bender. Now we're gonna get right into it. If you wanna know more about this bender, I'll leave a link at the top of my full rundown on it. So 
So I got my angle finder on there to make sure I'm on the same plane. That's the original 90 degree bend. And we're all chalked up and ready for bend number two. All right, so that's bend number two. Now we can put it over to the car and see how it fits. All right, this is fitting really good. Now we need to address that gap right there. There's no need for that. So we're gonna add another bend right in the middle of it just to curve it up to meet that windshield curvature. And around back here, it's meeting the roll cage where I want it. However, I do want it to come up higher just so we get some more headroom and we'll bend those down into the actual main hoop. So I'll be right back with you when I get those bends made. And here it is all just rough fit into place, just hanging by a couple pieces of wire. And it's fitting really good. I got some extra bends I added for some extra head clearance. And we'll tighten this up and we'll get it welded. In the meantime, we're gonna move forward and work on our A-pillar bars. So looking at the passenger side A-pillar, now what I'm looking at is where I'm gonna put my bend. And then when I put my cheater bend tool in here, it tells me I need about 10 inches where I need to mark it up to where the bend's gonna start. And then my gauge finders tell me 34 degrees to follow that windshield angle and then we'll meet the main hoop up there. So we're gonna put our stock in the bender and get it bent to that 34 degrees. I now have both of my A-pillar bars bent and welded to the halo bar. I'm now turning my attention to making some base plates where these A-pillar bars will mount or weld to the actual unibody frame. So I have my mounting blocks just tacked into place on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. And now it comes time to weld in this really tight corner. So the only way to do that is to take this whole main hoop or halo bar out the top along with the two A-pillar bars and we'll weld this off the car. Now that we got this far, it's time to discuss door bars. So let me show you what I have planned for this door. Since there's limited space in here to begin with, and we want to keep this door card without cutting into it and still maintaining driver space, this is what we're ending up with. We're going to have one bar connecting to the A pillar. It's going to recess right under that door card. And at that intersection there, we're going to run a bend to meet that contour. And then we're going to kind of come up and over to the side of the main hoop all loaded up in the tube bender and we're ready for our first bend and this one we're suiting for 70 degrees so we're going to get on that right now all right so that 70 degree bend goes right here and up and however it'll continue on forever and never intersect that main hoop so i'm going to come around again add one more bend to bend it back into this main hoop and i'd like it to be about the same height as this armrest so one more bend there is the driver's side door bar in, fits great while I was at it. Did the passenger side as well. Still have to weld everything, but we're gonna hold off on that and we're gonna do an X brace on the roof now. Okay, so I haven't yet discussed how I do my tube notching, 
Now there's about two methods that you can use. Now this is the hole saw method that you use with an actual tube notcher. It cuts right through and makes your intersections at whatever angle you need. Now my preferred method is using a paper template, which as you can see when you intersect this with this pipe, it meets perfectly. So what I'm gonna do in this circumstance is slide it right over your DOM tubing. It gives you the exact parameters, perimeter that you need. At which point you come back around with your Sharpie marker, trace the outline of your template. All you need now is an angle grinder with a smaller diameter cutoff wheel, which will cut around this side on either side of it. And then we come in and clean it up with the actual abrasive disc. And just like that, here's your fitment. So here's the full bar of the X brace. As you can see it cuts straight across here, which is gonna leave no head clearance. So I've marked that for a bend 22 inches in just so we can increase head clearance. I'm gonna bend that up now. There it is sitting in place. There's the bend we just made. And here's where we're gonna intersect the main hoop, which is gonna be in parallel with this one down bar here. So to make this cut, again, I have to come in here with another paper template. This one's pretty complicated because I'm intersecting at three different locations here. And you can see how that fits the top contour as well as the bottom contour. So now we're gonna mark the tube where it intersects and we're gonna cut this contour out and we'll see how it fits. And there's that fitment of the template and all we just cut out. So that fits really good. We are going to tack weld there and there, and we'll work on the continuing X brace from that corner to the driver's side front. So I have the roof X all tacked together. Now it's time to weld all that and the door bars. Okay, so that's a wrap on the roll cage. I gotta say, I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out, and that JD squared tube bender just made the world a difference. Now, moving on is when we do the exciting things, and normally we would get that K series started up and actually get this thing on the road. However, we have a small change of plans where I'm probably gonna change out the entire drivetrain. So, join me for that next time. Hit subscribe and don't miss the changes that I make, and stand by for that roof fitment. Thanks for watching.